JR Tips Smart Money, NFL Picks and Predictions, where we bring elite, syndicate-level sports picks to the everyday public better. Jimmy Riley has over 30 years of experience in sports betting. Join us weekly as we demystify the system behind consistently picking NFL winning teams. Welcome back to JR Tips NFL Picks and College Football Predictions. I'm Jimmy Riley, the owner of JRTips.com, and today we're going to preview a free pick between the number 23 Arizona State and number 5 Stanford Cardinals. They play on Saturday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in Stanford, California. Now last week we had a great week with the Billionaire Boys Club plays. They ended the week going 2-0 uh, with the Sunday night game with a nice teaser with Seattle to the under, and they came back on Monday with another nice teaser on Cincinnati to the under. Uh, they improved to 5-2 and two with NFL plays and 6-2 and two with college football plays. Now they are an amazing 230-99 and 99 of their last 329 plays throughout the past 20 months, which is a 70% winning percentage. To get this information this weekend, give us a call at 1-800-256-9795, extension 4. Again, call that number to get your VIP high roller college football NFL plays for this weekend. Let's take a look at this free matchup for Saturday between Arizona State and Stanford. Both teams are coming to this game with a perfect 2-0 record. Although Arizona State has faced it the toughest opponent so far in Wisconsin, winning a close game by the score of 32 to 30 last week, while Stanford beat Army 34 to 20. This is a very good Arizona State team who's returning 17 starters from last year, a team that had a surprising 8 and 5 record, and they have big players and good athletes on both sides of the ball, starting with their quarterback Taylor Kelly. The Sun Devils will lean heavily on veteran quarterback Taylor Kelly as he will have to pass the ball against the Stanford Cardinal team is very tough on the defensive line. Last week he was very impressive where he hit 29 out of 51 passes for 352 yards and most of those passes were NFL throws on the back shoulders to his receivers against a tough Wisconsin team, which was number 20 in the country. The Arizona State running game struggled last week. They only had 116 yards, which included 24 yards from Kelly. Marion Grice had 22 carries, but only had 84 yards in total, which is 3.8 yards per carry. Kelly used his arm and was outstanding with his accuracy, hitting eight different receivers last week but had six big drops that could really change the game and open up the score for Arizona State. But the miscues actually kept the game close, and they barely won the game by a score of 32-30 to 30 in the last second of the game. In this game, the Arizona, defense, Arizona State defensive line was exposed, as they didn't have a sack last week and struggled against a run, giving up 231 yards to Wisconsin with a staggering 7.3 yards per carry, which is going to spell trouble against the best offensive line they will see all year in the Stanford card. Stanford is known for their big bruising offensive line play, and they will be absolutely dominant against this Arizona State team, highlighted by the left side of their offensive line were 6'6", 318-pound left tackle Andres Pete who was a top recruit in the country last year, and the monstrous senior left guard, David Yankee, who could be the best pole blocker in the country, as Stanford loves to run the power run. That's something Arizona just can't stop. They also have rich uh, right guard Kevin Dancer, who will be an All-American this year, while senior right tackle Cam Fleming has locked down the right side for years. With running back Steven Taylor going and now playing in the NFL for the Arizona Cardinals, Stanford will rotate a multitude of talented backs, starting with Anthony Wilkerson and Tyler Gaffney, who will get most of the carries. 
This Stanford run game will definitely loosen up the pass game this week. A starting quarterback, Kevin Hart, who was a freshman, actually redshirt freshman, who took over in midseason last year to lead Stanford to the Pac-12 title. Let's look at some stats from this starting quarterback who has been very impressive in his first couple starts. Actually, last year, he was 71.7% with red zone scoring efficiency. He was 89% with red zone touchdown efficiency and 73% with his pass efficiency. That was actually better than Andrew Luck's redshirt freshman year. Although the Stanford offense is intact, they have struggled on defense this year. Let's take a look at some alarming betting stats before placing a wager in this game. In the first game, when Stanford played San Jose State, they gave up 25 first downs, 404 total yards, 207 yards passing, and 197 yards rushing. Last week against Army, this team gave up 18 first downs, 333 total yards, and 284 yards on the ground. This game will feature two of the best quarterbacks in the Pac-12. And will also feature a Stanford running game that will expose an Arizona State defense that has given up big runs all season and will now face the best power run game in all of college football. Arizona State will continue to roll on offense behind Taylor, who has a good chance to win this game if they can stay away from the turnovers and drop passes. These two teams haven't faced each other in two years, so there's not that much familiarity. But both teams are averaging over 400 yards this season, with Arizona putting up 495 yards per game and Stanford putting up 406 yards per game. Look for both teams to dominate on the offensive side of the ball as we expect this game to come down to the last possession. In this game, we like the betting total here. The total is at 52. We think that is very low for two teams that can definitely score 35 points a game easily. Take over the 52 in this game and again give us a call at 1-800 256 9795 Ascension 4 to get the Billionaire Boys Club VIP High Roller plays this week in NFL and college football. Good luck, everyone out there, and come back next week for JR Tips, college football predictions, and NFL free picks. Last season, a better with a $1,000 bankroll saw profits of $84,620 in just five months. Our current special guarantees eight net winners a month. Visit JRTips.com to learn more and sign up to receive winning picks free via email or text message.